Well, shoot, I broke my microphone holder. And while I could buy another one from eBay, get it shipped from China for $4, I know how to make things. So uh, let's go ahead and fire up the 3D printer. Today I'll be printing my replacement piece on the Sovol SV01 3D printer. It's a direct drive printer, pretty similar to the Artillery Sidewinder I reviewed a while back, although this one's a little bit smaller and it costs a little bit less, so that's pretty nice. Let's see how it handles this overhang right here. A little bit messy, but it does the job. If you're wondering why I'm showing you this relatively simple 3D print, well, I got this new macro lens that lets me get real up close and show you exactly what's happening at the hot end of my 3D printers. And I think that's pretty cool for showing you what different printers can do. And it also just makes it easier to understand how 3D printers work. A lot of people hear about 3D printers, but it doesn't really totally make sense. But when you see it up close like this, there you go. We can see the actual layers being printed one by one, individual lines being laid down of this molten plastic, and I just think it looks super cool, so I wanted to share it with you guys. As you can see, the part here is pretty much solid. It's just a seven perimeter part, seven shells, and I'm printing it at 0.15 millimeter layer height. That's actually a higher resolution than I need, but why not? I've got the time. The filament is Matterhacker's Pro PLA in translucent red. That's why it's got this really interesting shimmer to it. These translucent PLA filaments do catch light in very interesting ways, and it does make it hard to make a totally clean looking print, but I think this Sovol SV01 printer does a pretty good job with it. And when the print is done well, it looks really cool. Yeah, just check out those perfect 3D printed lines being pumped out through this hot end. And up here, we can see the filament being pushed down through the hot end where it gets melted and laid down as a 3D print. All right, took about an hour and now we have our replacement part. Once the heated bed cools down, I can just pop it right off. Like I said, this is PLA, so it's not too flexible, but let's see how it works. We'll go ahead and swap out the broken part with our new fancy, flashy 3D print. I'll be honest, that's another reason I don't just buy a replacement. Now I have this really cool, unique, transparent red microphone holder, and that's worth something, right? All right, it swivels and the microphone does fit in there. It does hold it, but there's a little bit of uh, flack in there. No worries, I got a quick fix for that. Oh yeah, the heat gun can work wonders when it comes to making parts fit together, especially something like this. I'll just warm it up until it's just starting to get a little bit flexible and then I can actually use the microphone to mold the print into a perfect fit. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice and snug. Cool. Well, that's it. Just a quick one for you today, but let me know what you thought. Till next time, stay inspired.